It's Tommy and welcome back to my channel today. We have a really quick create a sim video to kind of close out my scooby-doo series that I have been doing all week on my channel if you missed it this week I have been doing like all sorts of scooby-doo stuff I built the mystery machine I built a scooby-doo mansion I did the hex girls and I wanted to do one more classic scooby-doo create a sim but I've already done a version where I did them as toddlers and I've already done the very standard like scooby-doo create a sim video where you actually make them as teenagers or young adults whatever you would call them but there actually used to be this show called a pup named scooby-doo back in the day and it was probably one of my favorite shows on on Cartoon Network. I didn't watch Cartoon Network a whole ton, but when I did, it was usually for things like Scooby-Doo or a pup named Scooby-Doo. And basically, it was the same old stuff with Scooby-Doo, but it took place in between them being very, very young and them being teenagers. And I think you would put them in like the kids category and they were just doing their same old thing and they would solve crimes, but it was cool because it was like maybe when they were in middle school. So I wanted to try and do a version of them from a pup named Scooby-Doo and the art was a little bit different their designs as characters was a little bit different back then so I did end up going and doing some recolors just specifically for this build if anybody is interested in either Fred's shirt which is a recolor or Velma's vest shirt which is a recolor done by me let me know and I will post them down in my description box below but other than that I'm just going to keep them to myself because sometimes I do end up doing these quick little recolors that are important for whatever specific video I'm working on, but not necessarily coming from a big package of recolors or anything that I'm working on. So I don't release the custom content unless somebody is super, super interested in it. The art style for A Pup Named Scooby-Doo was kind of interesting and it did make the characters look a lot different. So I wanted to do a creative sim video where I made them as kids, especially because I do not make children in The Sims very often. I find them to be a little bit weird looking. I think that children kind of don't look awesome all the time. They're really hard to make good looking, I guess you could say. And one of the only videos that comes to mind that I have ever done where I make a group of children is Hey Arnold. I did a Hey Arnold creative sim video way back in the day that was actually one of my first videos to kind of get popular. When I was doing this video, I remembered all of the reasons why I hated doing the Hey Arnold video and almost didn't post it, even though it ended up getting so popular because I just hate making children in The Sims. And part of it is just custom content. Part of it is that I feel like people really neglect children in the custom content community. So I do have a really hard time finding good custom content for them. One of the things that both Daphne and Fred wear in A Pup Named Scooby-Doo is a kerchief, which is like a bandana that you wrap around your neck and tie. And I wanted to find one of those as an accessory piece so badly for this video. And I actually came across one that somebody had recently made where they took the kerchief off of Patchy that we got from Sims 4 Seasons and they made a accessory piece. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, thank God, like I'll be able to do that. And I added it to the game. And unfortunately, I didn't realize that it wasn't working for children. And that's exactly what I mean when I say that there is just not a lot of custom content for children and I feel like most of it is for teen and up or toddlers so they really really get neglected in the custom content community and it makes doing any kind of build that has a child in it very very difficult for me personally but regardless I do think that they look different enough from their older counterparts and from their younger ones when I did the toddlers version to make this kind of intermediate video that I might not actually make for too many other sims or sims groups like what I mean to say is I guess I I wouldn't be doing too many videos where I make groups of children like this. So even if you don't like Scooby-Doo or you're not really interested in what they looked like from a pup named Scooby-Doo or you don't know the TV show at all, at least this way you could have more children to add to your game that look a little bit different because I know that when I play the game, I'm always struggling for kids to meet new kids and toddlers to meet new toddlers. So with that being said, they are available for download on the gallery under my origin ID, The Alleged Simmer. And this video is also going to include of course, a version of Scooby-Doo. And what's interesting about the version from a pup named Scooby-Doo of him is that I think he's kind of in this intermediate age where he's not really a puppy puppy per se because he is definitely drawn to be rather large. And even though he's a Great Dane, obviously Great Danes start out small at some point. They do get big very quickly, but that doesn't mean that they don't start out small. And in the show, he's kind of in this like mid age. Like I would say he's probably around one years 
sold. So I did do a mixed breed where I took a Great Dane and a Lab and kind of mixed them together to make this like in the middle size between a Great Dane and a puppy to give it like this one year old look. Unfortunately, we don't have like a an age group for dogs or cats in like that little kind of span of time where they're still puppies, but some of the bigger breeds start to get a little bit bigger. So that is my creative sim from a pup named Scooby-Doo. Let me know what you think of these guys and what you have thought of Scooby-Doo videos all week long on my channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I do want to say one more time, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. That was recently a milestone that we passed together and I wouldn't be able to do it without you all. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon below to turn on post notifications so you can get updated every single time I post and I will talk to you all in the next one.